Let's see uh, why we need a, a new pedagogy. These are some of the reality we live uh, every day in. No comment needed. Education is very important, mainly in my opinion because it's a part of the social construction of reality. And nowadays, in the so-called Anthropocene era, uh, we need to face, badly need, all the havoc, all the problem, mostly man-made. And why? Well. In my opinion, greed, of course, is an explanation, but also ignorance, alienation, feeling not part of my community, of my environment. And also, in my opinion, some of the fault lie with traditional education that has been uh, actually sometimes not helping. Uh, so, a relevant uh, question, in my opinion, is how our personal and social selves, identity, are socially structured, you know, socially construed. I think uh, <clears throat> also another important question is how we structure reality is giving us uh, tools uh, to deal with the emergency we have to face. Just this. The World Health Organization calculated that in 12, so now it's worse, about 12.6 million deaths were you know, occurring somehow connected with problem of the environment that we pollute. 22% of the burden of disease uh, is due to environmental uh, attack to health and well-being. And uh, for kids under five years old, 26%, uh, more than a quarter, is uh, due to bad influence, uh, bad impact uh, of uh, environmental risk. So. As I said, uh, education is a very important aspect uh, of the social construction of reality and is at the same time a process, getting a, you know, education, like it's a process in the family, of course, uh, that starts first, uh, but also it's a product. And this could be good news or very bad news. Why? Because dysfunctional education, an education that doesn't give you the tools to see, and to act uh, is uh, dysfunctional and uh, give us, uh, as a result, uh, real damages. So, since uh, education, uh, science, are the new, the narrative uh, to prepare new citizenship, a new generation, uh, uh, they are really empowering tools but if the tools are not effective, actually they are disempowering. It's like uh, nowadays we know how much damage disseminate fake news uh, is. Disseminate uh, false signs, uh, superstition signs, uh, thinking that, that uh, the environment uh, is just for our use, uh, it's a commodity. It's like going to the supermarket, uh, chopping down uh, wood, uh, wood because we need wood. So, we need uh, to have a, a sustainable education based on reality, that is based on people needs, that is uh, a people-centered education, uh, and is uh, scientifically grounded uh, of our you know, current knowledge uh, with how people learn and develop their potentials. And uh, going quickly, 
student-centered education, we have a, a lot of research. For example, uh, if you are interested, you'll see some uh, <clears throat> biblio uh, opportunity. 47 million students uh, we have researched in the past years all over the world. Uh, and we know that student-centered education uh, pedagogy is congruent uh, with the present scientific knowledge derived from the word uh, of uh, psychology, sociology, anthropology, neuroscience, and so forth. Also, research showed that it's more effective than traditional top-down professor teaching student instead of uh, the professor, the teaching, being a, a promoter of learning. And uh, it's more effective uh, than a traditional education, even if the subject is about the hard sciences, uh, mathematics, biology, uh, computer technology, e-learning. <laughs> the better outcome uh, are uh, showing that uh, they work uh, no matter of the student population, of the country, of the gender, and the culture. Among the many positive results, uh, better achievement of educational goal, um, better attendance, uh, more satisfaction, better morale, better self-image, uh, more critical thinking, better problem solving, better relationship between students uh, in and outside the classroom is socializing and less destructive behavior or dropping out of school. Person-centered, student-centered, people-centered education also is an effective form of peace education because they learn how to listen, to work uh, together, to be empathic uh, and understand each other, to develop intimacy and trust, to <clears throat> basically uh, develop uh, their individual social health uh, and uh, to develop not only their potentiality but uh, as well facilitate the development and uh, climate developing uh, in the classroom but also in the community. In other words, they learn how to learn that in my opinion is more important than just learning the single subject. Of course, they have to know the single subject. We are not uh, excluding that at all. But uh, they have to learn uh, self-respect, respect for others, but it's not enough. Because depending on what kind of pedagogy that we have uh, always at uh, the bottom of the pedagogy, the vision of our human nature. If uh, we have a vision that human nature has at disposal all the resources uh, of the planet, uh, we're really doing damage. We have to foster awareness and capacity to effectively relate, not only to people, not only to different genders, not only to different sexual orientation, not only different melanin contact of the skin. We have uh, to relate uh, to life and not to see a tree that is uh, going to be a lot of tube Pigs, not, not to see animals, just how we can cook them. We have to see that we are part of life. So, since the time uh, is uh, rushing, but not yet uh, the two minutes uh, signal, so I'm going to give uh, the good example. I think uh, we dramatically need, uh, before it's too late, uh, to effectively protect and promote the human and environment capital. We need to think globally, but every day act locally. And I mean, I need to say these nice words, but I have to go home and relate this way to my wife, relate this way to my colleagues, relate this way to my neighbor, even those I don't like that much. Otherwise, these are just words, and uh, these are, again, one of the many things 
that are part of the problem, not of the solution. Thank you.